Hello gamers, this is Random Richard here, BGN here, showing off my, uh, well technically not mine, it's my brother's, but his massive video game collection. Also, Bearded One behind the camera, and you have to see this for yourself in real life. In person, this wall is literally, I would say, over a third covered in just movies and DVD sets. So, oh, yeah. this so, is a massive collection that we're going to go through. Riley, why are we doing this? Just fucking because. Come on, there's a reason behind it. So anyone who hasn't seen yet, um, this week is actually BGN's first anniversary. BGN turns one year old today. So uh, okay. we decided that, well not today, but this week. Okay. So we decided that um, on top of the top 15 BGN moments, we decided to show this off as an extra bonus for all you BGN fans out there. Because chances are you've probably seen this in the background of quite a few of our videos. So we thought, you know, why not actually go a little in depth and show off, you know, what the fuck is going on here. Yeah. So, start actually, here. before we start Easter Egg, uh, this room is actually where we filmed the BGN and Bearded Banter intros last year. Yep. This Again, this is not my room, this is my brother's, just, you know, he has all the cool shit up here, so, you know, I yeah. technically have half control yes. over it. It's a little Easter Egg for BGN fans out there, this is where we filmed both intros. But anyway, Riley. And the instant he moves out, this room is mine. Exactly. So Riley, let's start from the far left here. Let's okay. get in this little corner. A very awkward place to put video games. We have uh... Yeah, these things like flip-flop a lot. They used to be over on that side where you could easily get to them, and now they're in this corner. My brother has OCD. So anyway, these are his PS3 games. Okay, so we have all the CODs here. Uh, fuck all these games right here. Mm -hmm. uh, the two Dead Spaces, Grand Theft Autos, Red Dead, Max Payne, Heavy Rain, Portal 2, love that game. This is a cool Fantastic one. Fantastic game. This is a cool one. I have yet to play that, Lego Batman 2. We can probably try that out later if you want. I've heard that's the best Lego game it's in recent really memory. It's really good. Uh, Arkham City. Fantastic game. Metal, uh, that game kind of sucks. And I didn't hear many good things Ghostbusters. About it. I fucking love this game. That game, I've heard, is quite good. Oh, like me. I've I, actually played it too, so I I was know. a diehard Ghostbusters fan growing up because of my brothers, so you know. Uh, yeah, I've played it. It's a good game too. Fallout 3, mm -hmm. pretty good. One of the best RPGs of recent I memory. played the shit out of this. Metal Gear Solid I, I'm 4. I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. Yeah, anyone who knows Riley from the channel or in real life knows that he has a massive boner for Metal Gear Solid. And I have one right now, but that's okay. Battlefield 3, eh. Uh, uh, all three Uncharted games. Yep. Uh, first one, first one's good. Second one is fucking phenomenal. Third one is good, but you know, not what the second one is. It didn't live up to the hype. No. It was really kind of... And the game that in the last few weeks of banter has gotten quite a bit of discussion, The Last of Us. Just which... beat it the other day. And Riley, your final verdict? Pretty fucking cool, I have to admit. See, he started off hating it because of the slow pace, but he eventually gave in, and he gave it a chance, and he really warmed up to it. So. And this is just a, a thing that I'm kind of programmed to do. If it's something everybody likes, I'm kind of programmed to hate it. Exactly. So anyway, let's continue. So, Assassin's Creed, fuck that game. Fuck that game. The Assassin's first one, Creed 2, fuck fucking yes. Yeah, fucking awesome. Uh, I actually have not played this yet. Revelations, uh, we actually, my sister and I started playing that this week. Not that great. Alright, then fuck that game, then. And Assassin's Creed 3. It's okay. Good, but eh, could have been better. It's okay. And now that we're done with the PS3 games, we actually move on to the movies, starting with the Blu-rays over here. We're not going to do every single one of these. Yeah, we're just going to go through, and you can so, mention some standout ones that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to go through movies that I actually like. District 9. District 9, awesome that, movie. fucking love that movie. Great I, movie. I love South Africa, so, you know, they're not really good. Uh, Monster House, that was a good one. Uh, Avatar, that was awesome. I still haven't seen that yet, actually. Pretty good. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, really good Spielberg movie from back in the day. Back in Back to the Future. Love those movies. Blu-ray set. I assume all three. Yep. Oh my God. Best fucking movie ever. Piranha 3D. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love that. Uh, Kick-Ass. Eh, I thought that was okay. Really? I wasn't a fan, really, to be honest. <laughs> Kick-Ass 2 actually comes out in the next few weeks. I know. So. I'll probably see it. Fanboys. What's this? This? Is, this is cool. This is set in 1998. It's a bunch of Star Wars fans. One of their friends is dying of cancer, and his last wish is to see uh, Star Wars Episode One, which comes out the next year. So they go all the way from, uh, Bo I think, Boston to uh, uh, to uh, Skywalker Ranch to see it. Huh. To break into George Lucas's house to see it. That's a cool concept. It's really good. Oh, this movie was really cool. Tintin. Oh, Tintin. Now you think because of how the books are, you think it'd be it, but this was really, really well done. Cool. 
I fucking That's love cool. this. And now we get into the uh, now, television series. Yeah, a lot of here is just a lot of TV series. Let's see what we got. We got uh, 30, 30 Rock. Rock. We got awesome show. Arrested Development. This show is awesome. I fucking love this show. Oh, you'll you'll recognize. Uh, he's the voice of a, a minion from Megamind. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what else we got? We got Band of Brothers, that big ass box set. Batman the Anime series. Which fuck he, yes. Which he hasn't watched, believe it or not. Wow, what a fucking tool. But I know. fuck yeah, Batman animated series. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory, first four seasons. Nice. I th I could tolerate the show, but I don't know. It just kind of becomes too much. It's for a me. pretty good show. Eh. I'm it's nice. got it's got intellectual humor. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Anyway, Community. That's a good show. Cops. Which is not what you think it is. It's, oh, the animated series. Yeah. It's not oh. like you know bad I boys. Didn't, bad boys. I didn't even fucking know that existed. Anyway, Deadwood, the complete first season. Game uh, of Thrones, big ass box set. I never really. This is mine. What does he have it for? Fuck you. Oh, the Avengers. Okay. Yeah. This is mine. Why the fuck? Well, you take that back downstairs. <laughs> Get Smart, Love seasons that show. two through five, never heard This was a funny show back in the day. Greg, Greg the Bunny. The Bunny. Hmm. It's exactly what you think it is. Seth Green and fucking Eugene Levy. Wow. Yeah, it's basically humans and puppets and they just get wasted all the time. That's, That's so nice. funny. How I Met Your Mother. A eh, couple like seasons. That's nice. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh my, I know, oh, you always actually, talk about that. Actually, the shirt I'm wearing right now, Patty's Irish Pub, is from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Nice little reference. Yep. So what else we got. And um, oh, actually, uh, he did a voice in Monsters University, Charlie Day. That looks so much like Dane Cook, it's not even funny. Oh, fuck Dane Cook, he sucks. Anyway, uh, King of the Hill. We just had the one season, just I want to get, get more. This Life is, and Times of Tin. This was a funny show, it's just, okay, you know how TV shows have like, you know, very awkward situations? This just escalates on that. So it, the entire thing is just an awkward situation. He gets himself into the worst shit. <laughs> And he never means to do so. This is a huge ass box set. This is a show I never really understood. Married with Children, the complete series. He's the voice of uh, Mr. Litwack and Rick and Ralph. Nice. I'm just, just like, pointing out random actors. Wow, geez. Um, oh, the Muppet Show. My brother is like the biggest Muppets fan. Good. Actually, good. Look right over there. Yeah, those are custom made Muppets of him and his girlfriend. Yeah, that's fucking it's creepy. Fucking, it's uh, creepy, but it's cool. The Office. The Office, a huge selection of The Office. I liked the first couple seasons, but as the show got on, I just got shittier. Eh, I never really cared for it. I don't really watch TV all that much now. You're not missing. Honestly, when I get my own place, I ain't getting cable. I only watch like five shows, and they're all on channels I don't get, so. Uh, this is a funny show, Reno 911. Reno 911, oh I remember God. that. On the original Comedy Central. Oh. Yeah. Scrubs. Uh, fucking like six or seven seasons. Yeah, we didn't get the last two because the show really got bad. And then Seinfeld. Oh. I assume you have every season yep. there. My brother... Yep. Okay, in my family, it's blasphemous to say you hate Seinfeld. Uh, Seinfeld's a really fucking good I show, though. I fucking love Seinfeld, man. I, I don't know. I'm not even, like, a big Seinfeld fan. And every now and then, I just tune in and, like, Seinfeld will be on and I watch it. It's fucking hilarious. So we got Sons of Sons Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got a couple seasons of South Park on this side. I'm just uh, going to flip over to this side. Yeah, this is a really awkward position. Yeah. Um, we got a couple two, three, seasons four. of South Park. I have season two and eight. Uh, this was a good show. Titus. But, uh, it, it, it's cool, but eh, it was really sitcom -y. Undeclared. This was uh, done by, uh, what, the fuck is, what the fuck is his name? He directed uh, uh, Knocked Up. I don't fucking know. Uh, either way, I, I know who I'm talking about. And here we go, The Walking Dead, season one. Uh, I liked season one. I don't know, I just kind of lost interest in the show. Like, I can't really get into like a big, if it's a show where I have to actually pay attention, I'm not gonna, I have a really low attention span, so I and the only thing, The only thing I really like about The Walking Dead, I don't watch the show, I don't read the comics, I just played the fucking game and it yeah, blew my mind. Did. Anyway, back over here in the corner, so, and now uh, we're back to movies on this side. Nothing really here, oh yeah. The fucking Lion King set. American Pie. Wait, does that does that include uh, one, two, and one and a half? No, it's just the one and a bonus DVD, and it comes oh. with like little artwork and stuff like that. Oh, that's a fucking big box for only one movie. I think it was movie. I think it was the tenth anniversary edition. Yeah, that's a big box for only one movie. That's yeah, pretty big. Jeez. Anyway, uh, American Pie. American we don't have the third one. I have the fourth one though. Uh, American Reunion. Oh, that was so funny. Uh, all fucking the Austin Powers. I love Star Wars. Wars. I Harry have, Potter. I've actually never seen any of these movies. Me neither. I haven't actually sat down and watched a fucking... Wait, no, wait, I'm wrong. I did see the first one, and I didn't really care for it. I really haven't... I haven't watched a single Harry Potter movie all the way through. I just don't care. I don't know. Like, I don't get all the whole... whole hype. Yeah, whole Harry Potter... Hype. Was, yeah, Harry Potter was one of those things where, like, it started off as just, like, a geeky little side thing that people would get interested in, and then it just fucking blew up, and I never got into the hype. I didn't care. 
But anyway, as we move on, we have a, a collection of, stuff. of Muppets movies. Uh, this was good, the one that just came The new out. Muppets movie, yes. So um, we have all the Jurassic Parks. Here's a lot of Tim Burton stuff. Yeah, a lot of, I see a lot of Tim Burton stuff in here. And now we're getting into Kevin Smith movies. Ah, uh, Kevin Smith. Funny guy, funny oh, guy. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, a whole collection of James Bond movies. From uh, Dr. No to Skyfall. Skyfall, fuck, Skyfall yeah. So fuck yeah. He hasn't even opened it, what the fuck? He's a tool. You'll he'll, he'll, he'll have it like wrapped up for three years and not watch it. Fucking idiot. And now we have like a bunch of zombie shit. Zombie shit. I assume George A. Romero's in there somewhere. Yep. Let's see what we got over here. 28 Days Later, uh, 28 Weeks Later, Frankenstein, Dracula, a bunch of like monster movies. So, the uh, Wolfman. Shout out to the Pointer. Shout out to the Pointer, which so is actually really. Now we have a, a lot of uh, Tarantino stuff here. Yeah, both volumes of Kill Bill, uh, Django, Glorious Bastards. Do you? I think I'm borrowing it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Sin City box set, I see right there. Uh, let's see what else. Machete. So now we're just into a lot of Machete. Stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of horror stuff on this. Oop, shout out Halloween. To <laughs> Halloween. I see. Oh, fucking H2O. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna take a seat here. Yeah. <laughs> let's try and speed this up. So now we're getting into the Scorsese collection. Uh, we have the Oceans movies here. Uh, we have Live Free or Die Hard, which I think is actually mine, but I'm not sure. Who knows? Uh, the Die Hard movies are down there. The other three. As we see over here, we got some Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, The Godfather, Godfather Lord, Lord of the Rings, Rings Aliens, Aliens, Batman, Batman, Dark Knight Rises, the original Batman series, and also the uh, Chris Nolan series on the end here. Oh yeah, Chris Nolan. And now we move back over here. Jesus Christ! It's like column after column. Uh, oh, I see. There's a bunch of there's a, some superhero movies in this corner. So spaghetti westerns, uh, Matrix, X Men, Spider Man. Spider Man. Um, now we're getting to like the comedy movies. Like Knocked Up. Super bad. Forty year old virgin. Forty year old virgin. And now we get now we get into some uh, horror, uh, not horror, uh, action movies like The Born Legacy, uh, uh, the National Lampoon's Vacation series, Reanimator, Hatchet. Hatchet. I don't. My brother loves that. I don't Ghostbusters. Care. Oh box yeah. Set. Boondock Saints. Oh two. fucking yeah. This one I have to give a shout out to Boondock Saints. One of the best like indie movies I've ever seen in my life. It's just fantastic. On. And you've seen it too. Yep. Hold up one sec. Keep going. And I'll just keep looking at this. Uh, we got some, we got some stuff here. Zombieland, American Beauty, uh, Gangsta, Trick. What is that? Trick or treat? Jesus Christ. Um, some stuff over here. I'm not really familiar with. Oh, shout out! Oh, to the 2001. Boondock Saints. This is my brother and his girlfriend meeting the two guys. Are you fucking serious? Yep, that's them. I want to punch him in his fucking face. I do that every day. <sighs> All right, let me put these back neatly before he gives me shit for it. But yeah, I have to give a shout out to Boondock Saints. One of the best, like, so underrated, and it's so good for what it is. And the sequel sucks, so... The sequel uh, did suck, but at least they made another one. They might not do a third one, though, just Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly uh, waiting for a, fourth, a third one, because that's probably not going to happen. So, but anyway, Boondock Saints, fucking great the movie. The Blood and Ice Cream. Well, the third one just came out. Uh, what is it, The World's End or something like that? But anyway, you, you don't care, so let's just keep going. Uh, I think that's mine. Fucker. Zombieland? Yeah. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, a lot of the older yeah. cheesy shit, like uh, Idle Hands. Uh, Total Recall, that was a good one. The remake was horrible. Um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, nice. Star Trek. Goonies. I didn't really care about Oh, wait, Star Trek, the J.J. Uh, Abram? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like the reboot series. Yeah. Oop, shout out to my favorite movie, or one of them. Ah, um, Forrest Gump. Vietnam. Lieutenant Dan, I got you some ice cream. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. Uh, wait, waiting. My brother Reed, who uh, works in a restaurant, found this the funniest fucking movie ever. Oh, shout out to his fucking Ryan Reynolds, best, best uh, superhero actor ever. Ha, huh. yeah, totally. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, Blues Brothers. My brother was looking for this. Idiot, he still has it. Oh, Blues Brothers. Okay, uh, the other day in the mall, he was saying, Riley, do you know where my Blues Brothers DVD is? I can't find it. It's on the fucking shelf. Yeah, check the fucking shelf. If... So I'm just gonna leave that out for him. Uh, not really much long here. Uh, this is a good one, Road to Perdition. Ooh, Tommy Boy. Oh, man. I, I can pretty much, I watched this movie so much when I was a kid, I can literally, like, quote it word for word. Oh, man. You actually probably like this. This is really funny. Uh, Days Confused, awesome movie to get baked to. Saving Private Ryan. Yep. Juno. That's a good one. Juno. Yeah, that's a funny one. Uh, Fargo. Uh, Fargo. It's, it's fucking, eh. That's a fucking weird name for uh, a movie. Quite possibly the most quotable movie in existence, Office Space. Office Space. I love this movie. Is that Spaceballs? 
Uh, no, no that's not space. This is Starship Troopers. This is, uh, this is a really weird but awesome sci-fi movie. Uh, it's really, really campy, and it's Neil Patrick Harris dressed as a Nazi for half of it, so, <sighs> which is actually kind of ironic if you think about it. Fucking Neil Patrick Harris. I fucking love he's that guy. He's gay, and then he's a Nazi, and and now he's a Smurf daddy. It's fucking Smurfs. Uh, uh, Black. I get my brother loves this movie. I gave him so much shit for Black it. Black Swan. Yeah. Looks interesting. Yeah. I'd watch it. Uh, the Mummy. Love that movie. Ah, uh, the fucking. Ah, uh, the best movie to watch when you're at home sick. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Let's read sideways. Um, let's see. I see a four, and all I can think of is Fantastic Four. It's probably not Fantastic Four. I have Fantastic Four. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. You ever um, played the game? I played it when I was ten. Of course, when you're ten, you're, you think it's a, good. you're a stupid kid, and you think it's awesome. Now that I look at it, it's just another generic fucking beat-em-up. It's like Marvel fucking... Oh, what the fuck is the name of that? Marvel vs. Capcom? No, it's like a... Shit, I can't remember the name of that game, which was like the Marvel game where you would switch between a bunch of characters and you would go through levels and beat people up. I can't remember the name of it. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, Marvel Alliance. Uh, it's like that. That's right. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so moving on. Euro Trip. This is basically if, you know, American Pie meets, you know, a vacation to Europe. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see what else is good here. Uh, Wedding Crashers, that's a funny one. Wedding Crashers, nice. Uh, ooh, classic movie. Bill, Bill and Ted. Ted's excellent event. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of classic shit here. I love it. Um, what else we got? We got Watchmen, which I actually thought was pretty good. Watchmen, nice. Iron Man. Iron Man. We awesome. don't we don't have the second one because of blue. Ah, damn. Uh, ooh. Whoa, whoa, wait. Do you mean as in it sucked? It was pretty bad, yeah. I thought it was awesome. I, don't and, know what you're it, about. I didn't like it. Oh, Shawshank Redemption. Shout out to Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Before he had his iconic look of the gray hair and beard. Before he looks like Nelson Mandela, which he actually played at one point. Uh, a team, which was, eh. Is that the new one? Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Uh, this is supposed to be really good. Five hundred days of summer. Uh, my brother used to have a poster of it somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Ah, uh, Joseph Zoe. Gordon-Levitt. Is this the one that made like Joseph Gordon-Levitt famous? Yeah, it's what really cemented his career. Now he's fucking Robin. Yeah. Uh, let's not go there. Oh, this is a good one. Blaze of Glory. <laughs> that just looks hilarious. From oh, the cover. it. it it has a scene that my brother has never laughed so hard in his life at. One day I will show you it and you will die. Oh, I will. Uh, we'll probably watch it at the next sleepover. Yeah, we'll probably we're gonna watch a ton of shit. Uh, Black Hawk Down. Nice. Actually, you know what? I think that... Oh, Cloverfield. I see Cloverfield. Cloverfield was good, yes. Cloverfield was good. I liked it. E.T., most depressing kids movie ever made, but yeah, good. kids movie. McGruber. Sure. Oh my god, McGruber. McGruber. Ha this movie has the Fuck. funniest sex scene ever. That's, that's basically the fucking Lonely Island movie. Pretty much. Jesus. Have you ever, have you heard anything, like, anything new about Lonely Island in the last year or so? Can't say I have. Since they released the last album, I haven't heard anything. So, uh, Hobo, hey. Hobo with a Shotgun. Hobo with a Shotgun. This oh. movie was fucking weird. Uh, and yeah. I see you have The Hangover right there. Yeah, the Hangover, Full Metal Jacket, um... Dodgeball. Dodgeball. The Hot. five D's of dodgeball. Oh. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Yeah. Hot tub time machine. This was fun. Hot tub time machine. Wow. It, it's supposed to be this really This is basically bad. like the comedy end. Hold on. I'm just going to yeah. flip over. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's see what we got. We got old school. This is good. Will Ferrell at his prime. Um, Fucking can't wait for Anch Anchorman 2. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Uh, loaded Weapon and Senior... Oh! National Lampoon's Senior Trip. This was Jeremy Renner's first big movie. Hmm. Funniest fucking movie. Jeremy ever. Renner, now known as Hawkeye. Shout out to Jeremy Renner. Shout out to Hawkeye. So, uh, we have The Addams Family, Battle Royale, which was the, uh, original Japanese version. It's- this plot is very similar to, uh, The Hungry Games. Ah, uh, okay. Very, very When similar. I saw Battle Royale, I'm like, eh, not that shitty fucking James Bond movie. No, Casino Royale. Oh, that's Royale. Casino Royale. Fuck, uh, I'm stupid. Taken, that was good. Young Frankenstein, Duel, Spielberg's first real big movie. Not Jaws. Not Jaws. Uh, Renaissance. And Star Trek First Contact. Back over to the fucking and other side. Let's start down here. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's well, kind of hard. Some stuff, uh, stuff kinda, behind the uh, futon. It's kind of hard to see, but we have Elf. Yeah, we have Elf. Jaws. My favorite movie, and shout out to Shark Week, Jaws. 
fucking stop being a seal. <laughs> uh, Super Trooper, this is a funny one. Um, a lot of bullshit here. Uh, Joe Dirt, this is, uh... You skipped, you totally skipped 300. Oh, 300 didn't? Yeah, no. 300 is right, right behind. Oh, oh shit, it is. It's right there. Did yep. you hear they're making a sequel to 300? Is it gonna be 300? 301. <laughs> uh, Slumdog Millionaire, which I am yet to see. Uh, Wall Street, the original one. Uh, Dirty Work, this is okay. Uh, Robin, eh, I didn't really like this. Zoolander, I am yet to actually see this. Ooh, this is a funny one. Basketball. Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Basically, it's they combine baseball and basketball, and it, it, it's fucked. What are you doing? So, um, Along Came Polly, that was okay. I was so in love with this movie for a long time. The Rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, not to be confused with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah. It's basically a, bun a bunch of uh, ex-Navy SEALs infiltrate Alcatraz Island. And in because this was right after the Gulf War. And they wanted reparations paid to the families of those who died, who never got a lot of credit. So they threatened it with poison gas. They threatened San Francisco with poison gas if they don't pay. It's actually really, really well done. Uh, only downside. Nick Cage. Okay, this is something about movies that annoys me. Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, Ed Harris. Like, just put Nicolas Cage here and Sean Connery here. Yeah. That's something that... Oh, and he's the voice of, uh... He's the voice of fucking that guy Hudson. from Black Ops. Yeah, Hudson. Except Michael Keaton voiced him the second one, though. Okay, Michael it. Keaton? I know, his voice sounds so different. The fucking guy who voiced Spider-Man in the new Spider-Man series? Uh, he was Batman in the original one. Yeah, but Michael, Michael Keaton, uh, or maybe... He was Ken in Toy Story. Maybe that's someone else I'm thinking of with the last name Keaton. But I know there's some guy with last name Keaton who voices the new Spider-Man in the animated stuff. So, anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, Team America. Team America, World Police. Click. This was a good Adam Sandler movie. It's actually, uh, we all know Adam Sandler's like that, you know, really shitty comedy guy now. But this was actually one of his better ones. I haven't actually seen Click all the way through. It was good. It was a good, it was a cool concept for me. This was a weird fucking movie, but I liked it. Fucking Weird Al. It, you just have to watch it, but it's messed up. Oh, I, I if, if it's weird out, it's probably messed up beyond shit. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Rat Race, this is a good one. Kingpin. Kingpin. Seen that. That's it was okay. Most depressing movie ever made, Schindler's List. Oh, I thought you were saying thank you for smoking this. The most no, no, this movie's movie funny. This movie's fucking funny. Uh, this was a good, uh... We were soldiers? Even though it's Mel Gibson, this is actually a really good Vietnam. Was era. this before or after Mel Gibson went nuts? Around, a little before. Okay. So this was post Passion of the Christ, Mel Gibson. Yeah, really. Um, Tom Katz, that's funny. Groundhog Day, fucking Bill Murray in his prime. Anchorman. Anchorman. Eight Legged Freaks. Ugh, fucking horrible movie. Art of War, Crash. Road Trip. Road Trip. Wayne's World. Ooh, this was a good uh, Robin Hood. Sorry, hold on one second. This is a good Robin one. Robin Hood. Robin Hood Men Ties. I think my brother's home, so we can have to speed this up. Yeah. Let's just go through the rest of this. Lost in Translation. This was a good Bill Murray movie. Um, guess what kind of character Michael Sarah plays in this? Hmm. A shy, nerdy, awkward kid. Oh, gee, like every role he plays. Okay, shout out to Scott Pilgrim, which I did not like. Really? I did not like Scott Pilgrim. Anyway, well, let's just speed this right. up here. There's not so, a whole uh, lot of other... Enemy at the Gates. This is a good one about the, uh, the uh, siege of Stalingrad in World War II. Mm -hmm. So else we got? We got Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. Yeah, Mission Impossible. Just Mission Impossible. Oh. Run, fat boy, run. That's not. That's hilarious. a funny one. This is done. This is directed by David Schwimmer. Ah, David Schwimmer. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, this was actually really funny. Anyway, so true Patreon, romance. True romance. Uh, King Kong. King Arthur, King Kong, the new one. I'm just gonna say this. An Awful. hour that. No, it was good. It's an hour end. of it could have been cut out though. Seriously, it's a three and a half hour movie. Why? Good. This was funny. Airplane. Airplane. Very. Le Rest in peace, Leslie Nielsen. We miss you, buddy. The recruit, sideways. Blazing Saddles, that's a funny one. Big Daddy, Me, Myself, and Irene. I haven't seen that, actually. That's kiss, Kiss, place. Bang, Bang. Uh, Caddyshack. Caddyshack, best movie ever. Eternal Sunshine. Uh, Mickey Blue Eyes, never yes. heard of that. Transformers, which which one is it? Oh, it's the original Michael Bay Transformers. Okay, so that's the not The Great bad. Escape, that's, that's not that one. bad. V for Vendetta, remember, remember the 5th of November. Uh. Wallace and Gromit, fucking, which one is it? That's oh, the, it's that's the, the uh, three original. It's the Incredible Adventure, so it's the original Wallace and Gromit. Okay, I know you have fucking. No wait, do you have uh, Curse of the Werewolf? I do. Yeah, that's okay. fine. So that's downstairs. 
Uh, let's see what else is there. Star Trek. Oh wait, haven't we already? No, no, that's Star Trek 2. Let's see, what else we got here? Uh, shoot em up. Park Boys. Cyrus, I, I, that sounds familiar to me. Uh, Mafia, Sixth Day. Let's see what else we got here. Sorry for skipping over any movies that you guys like. Hellride. Nah, this is fucking, none of these I really, oh, the Naked Gun series. Oh yeah. Which went from one to two and a half to 33 and a third. It's a joke. It's and a over joke. here we have his Wii games. We okay, have... so I might as well get into that because these are all mine. Uh, Wii music. Fun for about two minutes. Yeah. It's a fun little I remember. Remember we messed around with this? Yeah, I remember that. It's okay. not that great actually. Okay, this is a really awkward angle for me, yeah. but. Uh, Super Paper Mario, that great was good. fucking game. And you have an NHL game? Somehow. This yeah. this game blue. Uh, you think? Uh, Twilight Princess for the Wii, not the GameCube. I have the GameCube version. Goldeneye 007, the remake. Which was not that bad, actually. Uh, Smash Bros. Brawl, great little fighting game. You know, Smash Bros. Donkey Kong Country Hard Return. Hard shit, but good. Which they're making a sequel to that, Tropical Freeze for the Wii U. Yeah. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, great oh, racing yeah. game. New Super Mario Bros. You know, if you want to kick your friend's ass in Mario, that's great. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2, fucking great game, followed by the original Mario Galaxy, also a great game. Which do you think is better? You said uh, the first one, didn't you? It's really close, but I would definitely have to, I would probably say the second one. I'd say it probably two. I don't know. Uh, uh, we play, play fuck that game. Which, you know, the only reason anyone got is for the extra Wiimote. I made this case for Wii Sports. Yeah, that looks so really good. makeshift. Wii Sports. Uh, uh, Lego Star Wars. This is The good. complete saga. This is good. Lego Indiana Jones, I actually like that one. Oh, God, the back hurts. And, I, and I'll just, I'll cover this one. And then a couple GameCube games. Mario Mars, Sunshine. Mario Sunshine, which I, I fucking want that game, God. Um, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, which is just a remake of the original. Really good. And then that's Mario Kart Double Dash, which I actually sold to you. Yeah, for 17 bucks. That was actually mine, and I, uh, he bought that off me. So it's in a fucking, one of those stupid makeshift GameSpot cases. Okay, so... And down here, we really don't have a whole lot to go through. Just skim through it. Yeah, just some, just some B-movies or movies no one's ever heard of, really. He actually hasn't watched any of the movies here. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, wait, he's watched a couple. I see Road to the North Pole from Family Guy right there. Yeah. That's the only one I really... Shout out to uh, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. We got Hobbit, the new one. Django's right there. Oh, okay. Um, Spaceball. That's where Spaceballs is. That was uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. That's right there. Horrible Bosses. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Which is actually... Uh, okay, remember Captain America? Yeah. Same director. Ah, okay. Uh, Looper. And uh, down there is the Simpsons that's movie. That's mine. Yeah, you should. He has a lot of your movies. I have a lot of his movies. And really, that's basically it. Yeah. I think we've gone through everything. So Riley, you want to conclude things real quick right here? So yeah, this is my uh, brother's DVD collection, game collection. 0.01% uh, of it is actually mine. A uh, couple of these games are actually mine, like Uncharted 3 is mine, Lego Batman 2 is mine, Portal 2 is mine. Uh, technically, okay, all the Assassin's Creed's are mine. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You might as well give him the first one, it's not worth your time. Oh yeah, he, he's play. I'm letting him play it. So anyway, we just thought this would be, since our first anniversary is coming up this week, we thought that this would be a cool little extra video to show you all. Since you see it in so many of the original BGN videos, we thought why not we go through and actually show you everything here. Oh, wait. Oh, down some, here. There's some movies on the floor. There's some other shit down here. We got Die Hard, Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. We got American Graffiti over there. We got Escape from LA. Snake is back. This is the inspiration for him, actually. Nice. We got Firefly oh. down there. Voice of King Candy. Ah, that's cool. That's Alan Tudyk. Always Sunny uh, Philadelphia Season 4 and Super 8. I think this is mine. Which I haven't actually seen. This is good. This is basically the Goonies meets Cloverfield. That's cool. So anyway, we thought BGN's first birthday coming up. This would be a cool little thing to show you all since it's in so many of the original BGN videos and we've never really gone too much into detail with it. And now we will do my movies downstairs. Will we? Yeah. Okay, so let's cut and we'll be right back. So Riley, where are we now? Uh, we were back in my room. The the teleporter actually worked. So, uh, yeah. Okay, it so... It worked. We've traveled back in time. We might as well start with the first one. The movies are behind this, so this will be a little awkward, but we'll... we'll By the way, this is Riley's DVD collection. Yep. So, uh, we'll start off with my Blu-rays. Wreck-It uh, Ralph Fantastic uh, movie. Megamind. Megamind Fantastic movie. Ted. Ted Fantastic movie. American Reunion. This was Haven't actually funny. seen it, so I wouldn't know. Uh, Avatar still haven't seen it. Avatar was good. The complete series of Rocco's Modern Life. Hell yeah. God damn, that's a great show. Jackass, Volume Two. <laughs> I love Jackass. Snakes on a Plane. Jesus. This Christ. is four box. I'm just like, why not? Uh, Shrek Two, one of the best DreamWorks movies. Yep. If uh, not the best. Yeah, I think it definitely is the best. 
uh, Modern Family. Uh, we have the other seasons, but they're in the TV room. Oh, Robots, I never actually saw that. This was, uh, this was okay. Okay. You know, right. Yeah, nothing too special. Uh, Fantastic okay. Four. Yeah. Jaws 2. This was actually, compared to the first one, it sucked. But I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a sequel to Jaws. Yeah, there's three. Jesus Christ. There's, there's Jaws, a trilogy of... Jaws 3D and Jaws 4 The Revenge, which is horrible. There's a trilogy of Jaws movies, Jesus. Grown Ups. Which is, what you think would be bad, but it's actually pretty funny. At times. I've heard nothing but bad things about Grown Ups 2. Uh, yeah, me neither. Happy Gilmore, big box set there. Back in when Adam Sandler was in his prime. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Get Smart right next oh to it. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, and we also have Argo, which is good. Argo. Should point that out. This is a good show, Viva La Bam. Viva La Bam. Uh, uh, I, oh, the only reason I have this is because my parents were bugging me to put shit on my birthday list. Uh, the, the, uh, the worst. So, this is I got with a, when I got a Discovery Channel box set. Living, I actually have not watched it. Living this. with Wolves. 2012. This was good. The Doomsday movie. Completely CG. Basically. And the Christmas. This was a good show. Oh, I remember that guy. This was show. a good show. That's a complete series, too. Wow. Yeah, it never went off that long. So, we'll just move all this shit down and expose the hidden beauties. Okay, so we, we have Spaceballs. Spaceballs. That was upstairs, too. Uh, all the Family Guy Star Wars. Poseidon. I liked this movie when it came Poseidon. out, but it's it's a oh that movie, that was the first zombie cat movie you did. Yeah, back in the day. I liked it, but as I got older, I realized it sucks. Um, again, I have some of my brother's DVDs, so we have Apollo 13. Apollo 13. This, this is a good one. Breakfast Club. Again, this also came to the Discovery Channel collection. Black Sky. I never watched it. Indiana Jones and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I actually thought was good. I don't get why people. At a general it. populace, will be disagree with you. Uh, on that. Cop out. This was okay. I like how you just got like the complete series of Rocco's, and then you had a volume already. We got this like a couple years ago. Volume, volume three. Yeah. How many discs set? Two discs set. That's yeah. cool. Deadliest Cash, the pilot episode. <laughs> the pilot episode is one DVD. Yeah, it's like half. It's like an hour, dude. That doesn't warrant one um, DVD. The day the year stood still. And it that's... comes comes with the original one too. Ah, uh, that's yeah, that's because this remake. is a remake with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. He went from being fucking Matrix. I don't know why I have this. Saturday Night Live. Hmm. Um, yes, man. This was a tolerable Jim Carrey movie. Yeah. So I have a. Uh, my brother gave me this. Star, Star Wars. Wars. And then if we move that shirt. Ice some more Age stuff over Meltdown. here. Ice Age Meltdown. Good, good Ice Age movie. So I saw the fourth one the other day actually. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned that in the room tour. Yeah, it was alright. Um, Ramsey's again, also with the Discovery Channel thing. Uh, Hulk, the uh, the 2008. Yep, that Hulk. was good. This is funny. Oh, the South Park movie, yeah. nice. The uh, got the remake of True Grit. True Grit. Mm. Fuck yeah. And then we move on to his Pixar collection, which, you know, anyone who, if I could, just get in here. Anyone who has a brain. Loves Pixar. Fuck yeah. So Toy Story. All three Toy Stories. Uh, Toy Story, Monsters one Inc. on DVD and the other two on Blu-ray. No, this is Blu-ray as well. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, awesome. Inc. Fucking great movie. Monsters University. Incredibles, which I actually... Great movie. I actually didn't really like as a I kid. I actually liked that movie. Yeah, but it took a little bit to grow on me. Wally. -E, Wally. -E. Love this. Finding Nemo. Great movie. The Pixar Shorts Collection. Nice. And anybody who knows me personally knows I, I have a fascination with the Titanic. So it's only appropriate I have this. Titanic. <laughs> Which, you know, it took, it took a little bit for that movie to grow on me, but that was actually really good. This was a good show back in the day, Undergrads. Under, I remember Undergrads. Oh my god, this show is hilarious. If there's life after high school, do I have one? Yeah. That's gonna be awesome, like two Dude, <laughs> oh wait, I like I like the little pun they have here too, the complete freshman season. Yeah, a complete series, really, because it only was one season. Yeah, I remember that. I remember liking that show, but for some reason, like the the older shows that were on like Teletoon, like Teletoon at night, yeah. only on at 3 a.m. now. Like yeah. Sons of Butcher. That was I a freaking love that. My show. parents hated that show, but I loved it. It was so fun. Sons of Butcher was the best show, and now it's only on at freaking 3:30 in the morning. <sighs> anyway, I actually do stay up that late, but I don't have a TV in my room, so. But anyway, keep going. So uh, Walls. Walls Brahma, Chris the Were Rabbit, great. Surf up. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is a really shitty Dane Cook movie. Employee of the Month. Yeah, it's I, Dane Cook. So I assume it is set at Outback Steakhouse. 
All the best to Mr. Bean. Yeah, I remember I got this at a, at a Shoppers, which for those of you who live in the States, Shoppers is the Canadian version of Walgreens. Shout out to Walgreens. Fucking sex. Uh, we got the uh, Mr. Bean. Bean movie and Johnny English, which is actually, you think it'd be cheesy, but it's actually pretty good. It's his alter ego, isn't it? Yeah, the a second one came out a couple years ago. It was, I never saw it, so I can't say. Uh, this was cool. Bean, Mr. Bean's Holiday. Oh, funny story behind this, actually. Uh, my brother, Reed, uh, when he was down for summer, he torrented some movies for me and put them on DVDs. And this was one of them, so, but it was a European version. A couple months later, it came out in North America. How much did it change? Uh, the only change, the only part they changed was uh, the ringtone is different at one point. Ah. In the European version, a woman's ringtone is uh, like dirt, 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 because that's how they are in Europe. And in this version, it's do 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 do. Ah, so it has more melody behind it. it. It changes it, you know, it localizes it. That's what they do. The Poseidon. Which is the original version of. Oh, the Poseidon Adventure. Yep, this is a 70s version. This is a lot better. Yeah, it's the original version of that Poseidon movie that's somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, um, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Holy Trinity, Monty Python. I actually have not seen this. Wow, me neither, actually. Um, we as blasphemous as that is. The pilot episode of Mythbusters. I don't, god damn. No, wait, the three pilot episodes that started it all. Yeah. I don't understand when they release DVDs of like a show. This came out like 10 years ago. Yeah. I don't understand when they release DVDs of a show where it's like, oh, the pilot episode, I guess if the show becomes like successful and it goes on for like many, many years that it becomes successful, that you would want to celebrate the pilot. The yeah, you would want to celebrate the pilot. One episode doesn't warrant an oh, entire okay. DVD. Shout out to Mythbusters, which is like the only tolerable show on Discovery Channel now. Yeah. With Have you other quality programming such as Storage Wars, Pawn Shops, Moonshine, have you do you get investigation discovery we do not that is actually quite a good channel basically all the shows on investigation discovery are it. murder investigations or disappearances it just teaches people not to jizz on everything yeah my my, my parents watch that all the time there's some really good shows on there so uh i don't know why we got this i actually have national lampoon's christmas vacation it it looks just as bad as it looks i am not looking yeah that, to look, that looks awful um i don't know why i had this simple Huh? It's like they're- You have a live DVD of Simple Plan? I do, don't I? I don't know why. What the fuck, man? Of all the things I would expect you to have, that is not one. Get in there. My you know what, Simple Plan isn't that bad of a bad band. They're good. But of all the DVDs I would expect you to have, that is definitely not one. There's a lot of surprises in this room. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, that's basically it for Riley's DVD collection. Unless you want to go through my books. Nah. Yeah, nah, it's good. Shit. Which basically wraps up this entire celebratory first anniversary video showing you the entirety of the Richards movie and DVD collection. Just Richard. Just Richard. No, that's my last name. Right, I keep I keep forgetting. You know, it's one of those things that kids. But anyway, that concludes this celebratory video, BGN's first anniversary. What a interesting way to celebrate it than showing you all of Riley's and Riley's brothers DVDs and movies. Which I have joint access to. So, Riley, any last words before we conclude? Drop dead. Oh, that's nice. Any any words about BGN turning one year old? Um. Well, what what what, what is there that I can say that's not cheesy as shit? Yeah, true enough. So anyway, we just thought this would be a cool way to celebrate, along with the top 15 BGN moments, which would probably be out at this point. Hopefully, this comes out after that. It should be. But anyway, this whole week. Celebratory videos on the Bearded Gaming Network to celebrate our first anniversary on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching, and we will be here for many more years to come. So, I am the Bearded One, that is Random Richard, and we will bid you adieu.